Hey there, swim fans. Welcome to another workout of the week. My name is Ferris Savetti, co-founder and CEO of My Swim Pro, and today's workout is all about improving your backstroke rotation. As you can see, it's Valentine's Day, and I'm really excited to do this workout on the My Swim Pro app, following it on my Apple Watch. The drill for today is called six kicks and one stroke. It really focuses on balance on your side and that backstroke rotation. The way the drill works, you're gonna be on your side, you're gonna take six kicks on your side, and then you're gonna take one stroke rotating fully onto your other side, 180 degree rotation. Throughout the entire drill, your eyes are focused on the ceiling. If you're swimming in an outdoor pool, you're looking at the sky, and you're really focusing on keeping your chin in line with the rest of your body. You're, you're either on your right side or your left side. You wanna spend as little time on your back as possible. If you're like me and backstroke is your most uncomfortable stroke, it really just feels awkward anytime you're doing backstroke or you're kicking. And this drill really teaches you how to balance on your side. And throughout the drill and through backstroke swimming, it's really important to find this balance, keep your head in line, and keep yourself moving in a streamlined and efficient manner. Now let's walk through the workout. We've got a warm up drill set and main set that we're gonna go three rounds through. The warm up is pretty simple a 200 freestyle, 425s kick, streamline on your back. Then we're gonna go 450s IM order to work through all the different strokes and engage all the different muscle groups and energy systems. Then we're gonna go our drill set. So we're gonna go 425s drill where we go six kicks and one stroke, back stroke. So again, we're focusing on staying on our back, but we're really on our side and we're focusing on taking those six kicks and then one stroke to do 180 degree parallel rotation to the water to get onto our opposite side. Then we're gonna go 250s backstroke. And I will mention on the drill and the 50s backstroke, you can wear fins and it'll make this drill so much easier because the fins will keep you moving. Now the main set is gonna go three rounds. We go 100 backstroke, best average on the two minute. We're gonna follow that up with 250s freestyle easy. The goal of this main set is to descend 100 by 100 across each of the three rounds. On round one, we're gonna go all natural. Round two, we're gonna add fins. And round three, we're gonna add fins and paddles. I might throw on some nose clips to work the underwaters a little bit more, but we're focusing on good rotation, good technique, and really mastering the backstroke efficiency, feeling comfort and balance on our back. This is a 1300 yard workout. It should take us a little bit over 30 minutes to complete. Let's get it. We're doing the main set, 100 backstroke, all natural, round two with fins, round three with fins and paddles. We're gonna try and work the walls and that backstroke rotation. Here we go. I did mention that backstroke is my least comfortable body position. And even then, it is relatively easy to maintain a consistent speed on backstroke as compared to the other strokes. The first 100 here of the main set, with 100 backstroke, first 25, I take it out in a 17.7. And as you'll see in the first round, the second round, and the third round, even with adding equipment, I was able to maintain a relatively consistent pace, 25 by 25. Now in this first 100, I'm thinking about rotation, trying to balance and work my tempo gradually each 100. Second 25, I split a 17.8. So I am splitting within 0.1 seconds and I actually hold within a half second split per 25 on the first 100. Trying to keep my head position nice and stable, eyes looking at the ceiling, entering the water with my pinky first. The third 25, I split an 18.2. A little bit slower, but still within half a second of the rest of the 25 splits. And as you can see, I'm working on my rotation, driving with the hips and the shoulders, trying to balance out that rotation, entering the water at about 11 and one o'clock. And the first 100, I finish in a 111.6. I split a 17.7 on the final 25. On the second 100, I put the fins on, really going a little bit, <laughs> pretty good faster. And I split on the first 25 a 14.7. Seven, uh, about three seconds faster than the first 100. Now fins, of course, give you that extra propulsion. I can work the underwaters, spend about 30 to 50% of the 100 underneath the water. And cruising in on the second 25, I split a 14.9 to the feet. Pretty consistent pace across all four 25s. Now, it's easier to feel the rotation with fins on. I always recommend using fins. If you use equipment on the drills, it makes it a lot easier to balance on your side. Third 25, I split a 15.1. And then on the final 25, I put a little bit more work into that underwater, 
a little bit more tempo, still trying to maintain good balance and body rotation. And the final 25, I clock a 14.2 for a 59.1. On the third round, we're sparing nothing and we're going fins and paddles, really pushing the underwaters. On this 100, I spent about 50% underneath the water. So this is more of a hypoxic training as much as it is underwater backstroke. Then we would go 13.1 on the first 25. So about a second and a half faster than just the fins. I am putting more effort, but also having the paddles allows you to catch and engage the water a little bit easier. Second 25 is with a 13.7. So the first 50, we're out in a 26.8. And I know that my goal in backstroke is to even split. It's easier than any other stroke because you fatigue differently in other strokes. In backstroke, it's a little bit easier. We go 13.4 on the third 25. And then final 25, just past halfway underwater. And we're able to finish the last 25 of set three with a 13.1, finishing with a 53.4. If we take a look at the main set across three rounds, three 100s backstroke, we go from a 111 to a 59 with fins, and then a 53.4 with fins and paddles. Now, ideally, when you train with fins and paddles in a set like this, your best time is produced when you have this kind of equipment. And actually, you should be able to go a little bit faster than your best time. So for me, I was pretty happy with a 53.4, but you can look consistency at these 25s. And even without any equipment, I was within half a second on every single 25. And again, I'm not a great backstroker, so I believe in you. If you don't feel comfortable on your back and your times are maybe a little bit faster, a little bit slower, whether it's 30 seconds or 20 seconds per 25, really focus on being consistent. And I hope these drills with backstroke rotation, balancing on your side for six kicks, and then rotating onto your other side, keeping your head position nice and balanced, looking at the ceiling, looking at the sky, the clouds, enjoy the fresh breeze if you have the opportunity in the outside. Really focus on all of those fundamentals to improve your backstroke technique. And let us know in the comments how you like this drill and other backstroke drills that you like. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe and like this video, share with all your swimming friends. We'll catch you guys next time. Happy swimming.